Usually, right around now in this newscast, we're talking about crime or corruption, right? Tonight, there's a plot twist. It's a story of channeling grief into great success. Perhaps a story that you can draw inspiration from tonight. It's about a woman who has accomplished something only a handful of people in our state have. And Megan Abundus is here to pick up this amazing story from there. Megan. Tonight, we're introducing you to a local Rio Rancho mother and high school teacher. She also happens to be a newly named professional bodybuilder, coming off a big win. She told me she thought she would never compete again after tragedy hit her hard. From there, it was sink or swim. These muscles are four years in the making. It becomes a lifestyle for sure. Uh, with me being a working mom, you know, I'm a teacher at Rio Rancho High School. Uh, actually, the last past eight years, I was a football coach at Rio Rancho as a strength and conditioning coach. Adding to that list, Melissa Marks can now say, I'm a pro. <laughs> one of the things that Nathan and I would talk about was, gosh, how cool would it be to one day be an IFBB pro? And I started competing at 35. I'm 44 now. Marks recently won her professional card within the International Federation of Bodybuilding. This is like the Super Bowl of bodybuilding, the NFR of rodeo, the PBR finals of, you know, it's the biggest thing that we can try to get to. She presents a number of strength poses on stage for about a minute. With trophy in hand, her daughter by her side, there was someone missing. The one thing that I had to pull me through all of it was the gym. My entire life was chaos. You know, this, this once happy life that I had is no longer. In April of 2017 um, is when Nathan took his life. That's when, of course, my world and Maddie's world completely changed. Mark said she noticed a change in her late husband's personality. Withdrawing, he didn't like the gym as much anymore. I was just seeing a disconnect. Nathan is remembered as a man who was always willing to help, but not get that help for himself. We forget the people that are left behind after the suicide happens. You know, the pieces Maddie and I have had to pick up. She says with the love and support from the bodybuilding community, she found her strength. Uh, I could uh, smile. I could laugh and it was okay. Uh, no judgment. And the support here from this gym was amazing. Now, with this win, it was like a closure to the amateur part, and now it's this pro part, and it's this, you know, new beginning, new smiles. Marks recently found a card her husband had hid for her, encouraging her in all her competitions. She says the next step is to do a pro figure show. It's been a good year for New Mexico bodybuilders. Five people recently got their pro card, too.